Okay, so I'm so excited for this because I think as we go into 2020 and head into 2021 and just where this world is going, like you have to adapt to the power of social selling. And I love what Barbara just said, like affiliate marketing is more, how are you building partnerships with other brands? Um, so you can refer to it as affiliate marketing, um, social selling, influencer marketing, and then there's a version of network marketing that's different, but still the sales side of it is very similar. So you're going to hear it a lot in different ways, like through social media, through podcasts, through everything. So it's, I'm teaching you guys like how to weave it into your life and your business model today. Um, let me know too. drop in uh, during any point in this. If you guys have any questions or you want me to emphasize something, just put it in the chat box and I can stop and kind of address any specific questions. Otherwise, just parking lot them, like write them down and we'll talk about them at the very end. And then from there, we can kind of dive deeper into, into each individual person's life or business so we can customize the framework just for you. So this workshop is really going to be broken down into two parts. The first half is if you're ready to become an affiliate and create extra personal income in your life, meaning you understand the power of affiliate marketing. I'm going to go over like how to know when you're actually ready to become an affiliate, what you need to have in place to get started so that you can start to like weave it into your personal brand and make more money. How will you get the products and offers out? your audience and actually like weave it through your network, how to convert those, that audience into actual buying customers that continue to purchase every single month. And then how do you actually scale that conversion so that you can continue to keep making more money? And then the second half is the business model side. How do you actually build affiliate marketing into your business model, what you do for your, like your actual business to scale your business faster and make more money? So we're going to go through like, how, know when you are ready to weave it in, how to create an actual affiliate program that works and how to attract those affiliates, how to market to those affiliates, how to motivate them and keep them inspired and loyal to your brand and how to keep coaching them so that they know what content to be creating. That's like very brand specific. And then what apps and systems that you should have in place so that it's easy to track so that it doesn't feel like extra work for you. Does that sound good? Is everybody excited? Um, okay. Put in the comments too, really fast, the chat box, which one you're more interested in too. Is it how to make more money for yourself or how to weave it into your business model so that I can also know like where to spend more time on. So I don't want to go too much into detail with who I am. My whole background is the beauty industry. I've helped build some of the top salons in the industry to like multi-millions. Um, I grew one company that was an 5,000 fastest growing company. I've helped generate over $26 million of new additional revenue for salons the past 10 years. And then these last three years, I transitioned into coaching. So now I've helped coach, coach salons for growth and expansion. And somehow it's just kind of weaved into also affiliate marketing. Like I'm really good at seeing the big vision with your business and being like, this is where you are and this is where you could be. And this is all the systems you need to have in place to get there. I can see very clearly how to scale your business and now understanding like affiliate marketing and like the world of social selling, how to maximize, like how to really leverage that to increase your revenue for your business going into this next generation of like social media. So what exactly is affiliate marketing? It's the process of earning a commission by promoting other people's or companies' products. You find a product you like, you promote it to others, and you earn a piece of profit for each sale that you make. How to know when you're actually ready to become an affiliate. Here's the things, a lot of you mentioned this when you were introducing yourself, that you're starting, you're in that place where you're building your personal brand. You, a lot of people have their business and they have a professional brand, but over time you're going to evolve. You might not be doing the same thing. You might sh pivot in five years and like shift your business in a new direction or join another company. So having a personal brand is so important. So for starters, what is your personal brand? What do you want to be known for? Who are you impacting? How, what are you creating content for? And then how does it also relate to your professional brand that you have in place right now? So for example, the person, I can't remember your names, but that does travel. Does your personal brand really relate to your travel business and how do you like merge those two together? Um, what do you really want to be known for? What are your core brand stories that you recycle through? This is all going to play a really big part in affiliate marketing because it's how you're weaving your brand story in and tying it to the brand story of the product or the brand that you're working with. Because when you're pitching yourself to certain businesses or brands or products, um, sometimes it's not just as easy as signing up on a link. Sometimes you actually have to pitch yourself to that brand and say, this is why I'm a good fit to promote your product and create a pitch deck for them, um, show them some of your content and your experience, 
Well, that means you have to be really clear on like, who are you speaking to? Who is that clear niche? And who's the audience that you're already adding value to every single day? Why are people coming to choose? Why are people coming to you, whether it's your social media or your podcast or your YouTube channel or your emails? Like, why are people choosing to come to you? To give you a very clear example, like, you know, Barbara and Lupe do a s extremely good job because they've niched down so specific with 40 and 50 year old women. So now they can go pitch to any brand that's related and say, hey, this is our core brand. This is our niche that we speak to. This is our demographic. This is what they love. This is what they don't love. Like know your audience like front and back. So then when you pitch that to a brand, you can say, this is why we are so aligned with your brand. This is why it's going to, your brand's going to speak to our audience and why we, we want to weave your product or service into our model to promote it to them. And in turn, you're going to be paid a commission on top of that. Does that make sense? These are the things to really like when you're talking about whether it's your personal brand or your professional brand, how are you, how are you speaking to your audience and what things do you have in place? Because of how the direction of where this world has gone, you have to have, you almost have to turn your business model into like a media company. Like it's not just, you can't just have a product and expect to sell anymore. Like you have to have a strong social media presence that you're constantly engaging in, like adding so much value to your ideal clients. Having a blog is so important. A lot of people think blogs are gone when they're not. It's like, especially when you tie a blog to Pinterest and you're creating this almost like funnel that people click here that leads them to here, that leads them to here. Like you want this constant rotation that's drawing all this attention back to your personal brand or your, your business. Um, a YouTube channel, video, video, video. I don't care if it's YouTube or IGTV on social media or the new reels. You need to be like creating such a strong video now that you're weaving this in. So this is the fastest way to be able to like leverage and launch your affiliates um, links is by creating a YouTube channel. And then you're just dripping content in there and saying, hey, if you love this, click the link in my notes. If it's a podcast, hey, you mentioned this, you mentioned a specific product that you love. And then you're like, check out my show notes. You're on social media and you're doing attraction marketing. Like you're just dripping it in so that you don't feel like you're selling. And then you're like, here, swipe up for this link or click my bio in my link or click this for the link. And you're just referring people to the products that you love. One of you mentioned that you don't want to feel like you're selling. These are the easiest and fastest ways to be like, here's how I'm adding value to you because it's something I've already been adding value because it's your business. But then you're weaving those affiliate links into them because you know it's going to speak to that ideal client. Um, and then your email list is your biggest asset. If all of this were to disappear tomorrow and you don't have a social media anymore, um, your email list is the most important thing. 83% of people buy products from other people online or through an email list. If you talk to anybody that has like huge seven figure sellout coaching platforms, they will tell you over and over and over the sales happen in the email list. It's not happening on social media. It's happening in the email list. So what does that mean? It means taking all of these things and choosing which platforms are going to speak to you. Maybe it's social media that you want to do. Maybe it's a podcast. Maybe it's YouTube and Pinterest. Pick a couple that you're like, these are, I don't need to be on all of them. I'm just going to master like two of them. And then I'm going to use them to draw you back to your, the email list so that you're capturing the emails and then you're dripping in all the content in your emails. And that could be all of your affiliate links. That could be any, like anything that you're upselling, that kind of stuff. This is so important. And then it's like creating those certain PDFs, like, uh, like different freemiums you can do. You can, well, I'll go into that later. I don't want to confuse you guys too much, but how, always take a step back and be like, okay, where is my audience living? How am I speaking to them? And then how am I going to weave this in before you even, we even start talking about all the brands? Those are the core things. Does this make sense? Is there anything in the chat box you want me to accentuate on that? Okay. So then you need to be like, okay, what are the brands that I actually want to be an affiliate for? Once you know, okay, this is how I'm going to deliver this to my audience and drip in all these links to make more money. Now it's like, what brands do you actually want to work with? I want you guys to like take even start right now, but write down an entire list of every single product that you use on a daily basis. Be like, I love this product. And it could be anything from what you drink in the morning, your coffee that you drink in the morning, to the clothes that you're putting on, to the planner that you're writing in every single day, to your journals, to um, a service that you get frequently, to a course maybe that you purchased online, 
like make a list of a hundred different brands and products or ones that you want to work with. Maybe you see it online and you're like, man, I would love to work with, with this brand or this product. I want you guys to make that list. Then it's like, you, ha you need to start. So here's an example. So a lot of brands you might not even realize too. Home Depot, Nordstrom, Walmart, Target, Subscription boxes are amazing because they're residual. So every month somebody gets those. So every month you're gonna be getting paid. Website builder, travel, Fiverr. Like if you guys do any coaching business or you utilize Fiverr for graphic design, they have an affiliate program. Bluehost, Wix, anything for your websites. Shopify has one. Skillshare is like one of the best learning tools that if you ever wanna learn something new, like how to launch a podcast or um, anything, how to market your business, Skillshare is huge. It is anybody that's building a business needs to be using Skillshare. So all of you guys should be signed up for Skillshare to refer it to people. Flowdesk is a massive one. I'm on Flowdesk. I'll give you guys my link. Um, every time someone signs up, I get paid $19 and it only costs me $19. So it's free and I get paid $19 every time I refer it to somebody. Um, and it's literally built in email templates. So like your entire emails that you're sending out to your clients, you should be building in Flowdesk. It was created by Jenna Kucher. That's the Gold Digger podcast. It's so easy. You just, it's already pre-done for you. You just put your content in. And then every time I send an email at the bottom, I'm like, Hey, do you want to click here? Um, do you love this email template? Click here to get yours. And people sign up like crazy. Kajabi, if you have an online course and you're using Kajabi, you should be making sure that whatever you're building your platforms on, you're signed up for their affiliate program. Same with Teachable, GetResponse, Aweber, ClickFunnels. They're all the funnels that you could be sending out your email funnels to. TripAdvisor, Expedia, Marriott, Travelocity. If you're traveling, literally every single thing that you're doing in your life, you should be looking into does it have an affiliate program. Udemy, Katie Lux. Um, QuickBooks, Audible, Lane Bryant, Warby Parker, True Religion, all of these have them. Even eHarmony and Match, dating sites have them. If you find someone that you really like, you should be referring it. So why I started with all of that content in the first place is when you pick these out and you're like, man, I would love to build this, then all you're doing is weaving this into your content, weaving it into your emails, weaving it into your podcast, weaving it into your videos and always providing the link. It doesn't have to be a 15 minute video of like, this is my favorite brand and this is why, where that does feel salesy, but you're just dripping it in and creating curiosity marketing that people might be like, I love what she's wearing. I love that lip gloss. Um, she mentioned this coaching program, like that it's really helped her. People are gonna start to reach out to you and be like, what was that coaching program? And you're like, here's my link. Start dripping those links into people. If you go on Instagram stories and you're talking about like your morning and you're drinking your favorite coffee and you're like, this is so good or my favorite adaptogenic latte. And you're like, these are, this is why I love adaptogens because it balances out your body. Here's the link. Everything can just be like casual, like the same way as if you're sitting across from the table from your friend at lunch and you're referring them like you have to try this. It's, you're just weaving those in and they're clicking those links. Um, when you think about applying for them, this is where a lot of these brands are going to start to look at your brand. They're not going to just say, oh yeah, sign up for my affiliate. They're going to be like, are we a good fit for one another? Are we, are, is this a good brand partnership for us? Like Barbara mentioned, a brand partnership. It's not necessarily affiliate marketing, it's brand partnership. And it's like, they're going to look at like, how are you how are you creating content? How are you showing up every day to your audience and adding value? Who are you speaking to and who is that clear niche? And how, like, is this the right fit? Amazon is huge with this. Amazon, like um, we, Barbara mentioned it this morning, but Amazon is the biggest affiliate. Every single one of you needs to go sign up for it today. It's called Amazon Associates. And you can just Google Amazon Associates. It'll link you to it and you sign up to be an affiliate you get your own like site and then you go and you put in the products that you love and it will give you a custom link that you can then put into your social media, put in your YouTube, put in your podcast, put in your blogs, your Pinterest, anything. You can direct send it to your friends and you get paid anywhere from 4% up to like 20% on certain items. But the genius part of, about Amazon is that it uses um, within 24 hours of the purchase or of them clicking the link, you get paid that percentage on all of those products. 
and everything's different. Like, so some products are 4%, some are 6% commission, some are 20% commission, but when they like actually do add to cart and they purchase, you get those percentages on the total cart. So I really want you guys to think about that. Imagine you refer all of your coaching clients to buy a specific book or a specific journal or a camera. Maybe you're like, you know, you need to go out and you need to like take some photos for content and they go buy a specific camera or anything on Amazon. It could be wellness products. Some of you are wellness. It could be your favorite travel products that you're weaving into your blog. All of those should be Amazon links because then guess what happens when we go on Amazon? It's like those trips to Target where you go for one thing and you end up buying 30 things. People are going to buy multiple things on Amazon and then you get that commission on the entire cart. So imagine if they go to buy one book, but then they're on there and they end up buying a whole new comforter and they buy a camera and they buy three other things and their cart value is now 1500. You're getting paid commission on that 1500 cart basket, which is huge. And then there's AliExpress. If you've never heard of AliExpress, you must go there right now. It's the Chinese version of Amazon. And this is where you hear drop shipping. If you've, how many of you have heard about drop shipping? All the reason that you go to the mall and each and all these stores are going out of business is because of drop shipping. Because all, now all of these people have online boutiques that they're running sponsored ads to, and now people just want to shop from their shop from online, right? So now if you you can buy anything as cheap as possible from Ali, AliExpress that you could buy like for three times more in America and it's the exact same product exact same product all of those businesses that you're seeing coming across like your Facebook that might be certain types of leggings that it's not an American product that's like not Lululemon but it's these cute boutiques they're all coming from AliExpress but they're purchasing them on AliExpress for like three dollars versus like twelve dollars wholesale in America and then they're reselling them for about $60 on Facebook and then they're just running ads to it and the genius part about it is you don't have to own any products you don't have any inventory so if you are sitting here and you're like I want to make some extra inventory or extra income and you have a blog or a website I would go through AliExpress and I'd go through Amazon and I would pick out your top favorite products that represent your brand represent your business represent your niche that you know your specific niche would love and I would start weaving them all into that with those links you could even pick one product on AliExpress and specialize in one thing and build a website around that one thing. There are so many people and so many stories out there that are making millions, seven figure businesses because they niched down on one product and they put it out there and they run ads to it and it's from AliExpress and they don't ever have to ship any inventory. That's the genius part about it. You don't actually own any product or own any inventory. It's, a, it's all profit for you except for your ads that you're running. So um, these are two huge, huge ways that people are making a lot of money right now. Um, and then just to give you some examples of like other, well, I'll go, there's a lot of different ways that we can approach this too. So to just give you some examples of like a high-end athleisure line that I've helped build out their entire affiliate program. They do 30% commission. So everybody that like shares those products, they get 30% commission. Amazon, like I talked about, is like 4% to like 20% commission. But then there's other ones that are like a coaching program that are dollar amounts. So I was a part of one coaching one that the coaching program was $5,000. Every person I referred, I got $850 flat rate. Then there's ones that are product. Sometimes the more you sell, the more product you get. A lot of brands are switching to this because People get more excited in a way to get a product sent to them in the mail and have this like unveiling unboxing on Instagram than they do just getting like $100 sent to them through Venmo. So it's, it kind of varies on the company, but the, the way you're getting compensated can be percent, percentage of commission, dollar amount, perks. I know like Soul CBD has done perks now. So some of you like the more you purchase, the more you get. Um, and then there's the one-time payments versus monthly residual. So a one-time payment is you promote a product online. You're like, hey, click this link. This person buys it. You get 20% of that sale. Or maybe it's HelloFresh that you sign up for because you're really big with wellness and you're like, my ideal clients and my niche would love this. So I'm going to be an affiliate for HelloFresh and I'm going to get that subscription box sent to me every month. And everyone that clicks my link, I get a residual percentage every single month. That just is continuous. 
Same with like network marketing. Network marketing is residual. You sell, you promote a product, then those people promote a product who promote a product who promote a product. You're paid on all those people deep and that's residual and it continues to keep paying you every month. It's not a one-time thing. So there's a kind of have a mix of both when you're saying like, I want multiple income streams, kind of create a mix of both. So you have the passive residual income and then you have that one-time income from the products that you love. If you guys are promoting though, like on YouTube channels, for example, those, those videos live there for a long time, right? So those links are always gonna be there. So that kind of turns into residual because if people keep going back to your YouTube channels, and you're, you know, maybe it's been a year that it's been on there, maybe even two years and that link they can still click. You're still going to be keep getting paid from that link that you've put in your show notes. So that's a big deal. The average order value is the amount that you're actually getting per order. What's the value of your time is something to ask yourself. Would you rather get paid $50 commission or $1,500 commission? As you're choosing these brands you want to partner with, what is the value you want in return? You know, do you want to do fashion and just get like $50 commission? Or do you want those huge coaching programs and work with some top influencers that are doing masterminds and these coaching programs and get $1,500 commission? So kind of have a mix of that too, so that you no, know, not as many people are going to buy the coaching program, but a lot of people might buy the fashion one. So have a mix of both. Then there's the earning per click that you can get paid. This is where it's more sponsorship. I work with a brand called Social Sparkling. It's an organic wine. And we built out a whole affiliate program for them. And um, I was talking to this one influencer one day and she wanted Social to be her exclusive wine alcohol company. So I was like, absolutely, send us the pitch deck. We'll take a look. $35,000 she wanted, $35,000. And she would consistently talk about social every single month because she's an artist. She's an up and coming musician. And I asked her, I said, okay, well, how much do you charge just for one post? And she said $1,000 for a one post. And then it was like 2,500 for multiple Instagram stories. So this is where the bigger the influencer, it's not, you can't, the bigger your your influence, the more you can get paid. We'll say it that way. So the more you guys focus on who is my audience, how am I like building my following and building that audience, the more that you're going to get paid, the more clicks, the more revenue for you. So if you say you send something, a link gets clicked a hundred times, most likely 5% of those people will purchase. It's a numbers game. If you want 10 people to purchase, then you need to get it in the hands of more people. So that's going back to those basics of how do I get in the hands of more people and have more people see this so that they get more clicks. Um, podcasts, if you grow a podcast to like a million downloads or a couple million downloads, you can charge over $100,000 for sponsorship. So if you're listening to a podcast and you hear those ads where like, we're gonna take a break for our sponsor and they start talking about a product, um, they give you a code. A lot of times they're getting paid a six figures just to promote that product because they have millions of downloads. So this is where it's like, whether you have 500 followers or 10,000 or 100,000, just know where you're at and where you want to go and have meet, meet the people where you're at. Meaning don't expect a huge sponsorship when you're still building over here, but at the same time, like you can know what to work toward, if that makes sense. Cookie duration is so important when you're reaching out to these brands um, because you don't want someone to just click the link and then they don't purchase and then you don't get paid if they go back and purchase. But if they have a cookie in place, then they'll say, they'll mention it. The cookie duration means once that link is clicked, it gives them 30 days to go back. And if they go back within 30 days, you still get paid from them clicking the link and purchasing whatever it is. So that's a big deal because sometimes like with travel, if you sign up to be Travelocity affiliate and somebody's like clicks your link, but they're not ready to buy those, that trip right then, but they go back 15 days later, you'll still make your affiliate commission. And then find out emerging trends in the industry. Right now, you guys were heading into fourth quarter and this is the biggest season for affiliate marketing because of online shopping and gifts. So if I were you, I would look at this as like, okay, I want to really step up my game as an affiliate marketer in, um, oh, I think I'm in control. I'll press admit. Sorry, someone was coming into the room. Okay, so if you look at your, your model, whether it's wellness or travel or coaching or um, women in their 40s and 50s, and be like, what, is, what do those specific people want for the holidays? 
think Black Friday, Cyber Monday, holiday shopping, think gifts for her, gifts for him, um, gifts for that, the business, whatever it is, think of all those things, like write down all those ideas and then be like, how do I weave this into my blog, my podcast, my YouTube channel, my social media, my email list? Think of what products are kind of emerging right now in the market that everyone's jumping on. Um, think of new businesses, like a lot of new businesses that launch or new products that are coming out. They want to attract people to it, right? They want the brand awareness. They're going to be more likely to work with affiliates right away. Think of all those things or specific gifts and how are you weaving that in to fourth quarter right now so that you can maximize this season as much as possible. Affiliate networks. Okay, so maybe you're sitting here and you're like, I do not have time to reach out to all of these brands or, you know, think of all of the brands that I could. Maybe you just feel stuck. Affiliate networks are basically an actual agency or a network where they house all of the specific brands that you could work with. So these are a couple of the top ones that I would recommend starting with. Amazon, we already talked about. CJ by um, Conversant, it's really Commission Junction. Lemon Ads, Rakuten, Share a Sale, ClickBank, Skyscanners Travel, Travel Payouts, obviously, and then there's a bunch of fashion ones. You could even Google like fashion affiliate network and specific ones will come up for fashion or like wellness affiliate networks. ClickBank is a really good one for wellness. All of these are going to have all of the brands and the businesses that they work with that they have affiliate programs for. So if I were you, I would just go to an affiliate network and I would sit down and I'd put in like wellness or fitness and see what brands come up and what resonates with you. And then that's where you can start to really pick through those and be like, which ones do I want to apply for? Which ones do I want to partner with? How do I see weaving this into my network? How do I see my audience responding to this specific product? And start there. If you guys really want to go advanced, I didn't create an example, but create a pitch deck, meaning really put in like use Canva and create like a presentation with like your photo, your business, what does your personal brand represent? What companies have you worked with? Maybe where have you been featured before? What gives you credibility? Who are you speaking to? Who's that niche? And then that's something too that's kind of above and beyond that you could also send to specific brands as you're looking to partner with them. Okay, so that's like the first one. I just want to pause for a minute and be like, do you guys feel confident in being like, okay, these are the brands that I want to work with and this is kind of how I know to start weaving it into my model. Okay, I'm going to scroll through the comments really fast. Where is your marketing getting their info? Drive shop. You don't have to have a certain number of followers to be an Amazon affiliate, but you do have to have specific links in place. So they'll look for a website. They'll look for a highlight reel on your Instagram that's for Amazon finds or in your website. Like you have to have either like a link share that shows the Amazons or um, something that shows where those products are going to live. So I would start with your website and build it into your website or the link share. If it gets removed, like I took my website down for certain reasons that was promoting a different business, Amazon removed me and I had to reset up my thing. So they're also have people that are actively paying attention to making sure it's good partnership. Um, okay, what if you find a great partner but they don't have an affiliate program in place? I would still reach out to them and pitch yourself. So I would say, listen, I know you don't necessarily have an affiliate program in place, but I have, this is my audience, or this is who I speak to, or this is how I add value, and they would love this product or service. Could we create some type of collaboration um, or partnership? There's a, like a lot of services, like say you go to a spa or a skincare or hair or um, a specific store, anything. I would just ask them, be like, listen, I would refer so many people here and this is like my influence or my network. I would love to create a partnership with you. How would you, how would this work to benefit you? Like, how do you feel like this would benefit you and see what they say? And they might just come up with a specific like discount code just for you. What if you have a lot of friends and connections, but it isn't shown through social media? Um, 
I, I think that would be like emails. Like if it's not, say you only have 500 people on social media, but you have a great network, I would start with emails and I'd start to just be consistent. And even if it's just a personal email, it doesn't have to be related to your business. Maybe start with just like Friday, like my favorite finds on Fridays and just pick like, what are your favorite products or services or offers that you use all the time consistently? And maybe just start sending one email out on Fridays. And then when you see the opening rate get a little bit bigger, then maybe start doing like an empowerment one on Mondays and then weave in like your favorite books or your favorite journals on Amazon. And then maybe then go up to like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or a couple a week and slowly start to do it. And then always have something that you can grow your email list. So I kind of touched on this, but I'll go, I want to go back real fast is on Flowdesk, for example, I'm going to give you guys the link here at the end. Um, on Flowdesk is an easy way that you can just build a piece that captures email addresses. So a more advanced verbiage is a landing page. It looks like a website and it captures email addresses. You want to create a landing page that you can drive traffic to. So uh, let's use an example of a coaching business. Say you want to build your email list so that you have more people to send this to and start to grow your following. You could create like a download for a PDF that's like your top 10 reasons to grow your brand in 2020 or the top 10 reasons why you need a mentor or something that's going to make people like your top Instagram tips to grow social media. Something that's related to what you do that people would want and you're willing to give for free. So they're called freemiums. Create a freemium for your business and start promoting it online. And then you're going to drive them to a landing page to receive it. So it's like, hey, click this link and I'll send you my free download that gives you this, this, and this, that's those tips. And they have to put in their information and then you send them that PDF or that download. In turn, you get those email addresses that, yeah, lead magnets, perfect. Um, so then you can start to like create a bigger email list and then start dripping in emails and then weaving in your affiliate links that's related to your personal brand. Does that make sense? Um, okay. I think I covered those questions. Oh yeah, perfect. Go to second act and one will pop up. Do any of you have any more questions? Lead magnet, yeah, I mean, it's kind of the same thing. So your landing page is anything that captures email addresses. So you could build it on your website. It could just be a page that captures emails or you could create a separate landing page that's just, it could be for a specific program. So if you're launching a coaching program, for example, you would just have a landing page that you'd be promoting during the launch phase of it. That's like it just grabbing people if they're interested and then you're just building your email list. I'm going to talk a bit more about this at the second half because that's more of your business related side. But do any of you have any more questions on how you can create extra income right now? Okay. All right. So the second half is like you have an existing business and you want to grow your revenue. You're like, I want to make more money in 2020. I want to make more money in 2021. I have a product that I sell. I have a service that I sell. I have um, an offer like a coaching program. How do I make more money by weaving in an affiliate program? So to give you guys an example, like Katie Lux, I just talked about their high end athleisure line. We helped to build, it's called Queen by Katie Lux. Her specific business is high-end athleisure that is made for like dancers or people that want to go from day to night. It's 100% just product. They just buy product online. Um, the ideal client is like anyone that was a dancer that goes from like they are going from dance class and they want to go to date night and they want cute athleisure, but that has like this really good high-end quality at affordable pricing. Her goal was to build a community and this like strong sisterhood that like they feel like I want to be a part of that. I want to be a queen of Katie Lux. They want to be a part of this like massive tribe of women. And they also, we build the support team to give them brand awareness for their specific brands. Another example that might help you, the reason I'm telling you these is because I want you to then look at your business and be like, how could you create an affiliate program? Another one I work with is called the Social Sparkling that I mentioned. It is an organic wine sake. It is a product. There are no services, 100% product. Um, her ideal client is young millennials that are just like health conscious people that don't want to, that they feel like they want to live a healthy lifestyle, but um, drink this organic wine. Their goal is to build the strong tribe and the sisterhood and they have the social babe of the month. 
And then there's Shailene Johnson that I'm in like marketing impact. That's a high end business coach. She just does these um, marketing impact Academy, which is like these coaching programs that you can buy and you can have lifetime access to it. It is a coaching program that like helps people. So ideal client is anybody growing their business that wants to be a business coach or grow their business through marketing online. So I want you guys to write these ones down using those examples. Like what is your business? Is it a product service coaching or event, et cetera? What offer product service do you incre want to increase sales on? It could also have multiple ones like second act. For example, you guys have products, you have services, you have coaching and events. You could pick a specific one. Like maybe you just want to build an affiliate program just for the event side of your business. Then just work on that side of it for this scenario. Who is your ideal client, your target niche? What is your goal for the end of it? So as you, as we're going through this, think about these things. So some of this I already talked about, um, like what will the, as we're gonna, we're gonna develop your guys' affiliate program is what we're gonna do. So what will they be promoting? You have to get really specific on those items. What item is it? How will they be compensated? So you need to build the actual structure that you're gonna compensate them. Is it commission and its percentage? What percentage can you afford to pay out? Is it a dollar amount? What dollar amount can you do? So like I gave you an example on a $5,000 coaching program, some of them, they give like $850 to a referral. Some give like $1,500 to a referral. Products that are like $100, if it's clothing, some of them are doing 30% commission. Some only do 10% commission. Um, how much money to also as you're developing this is start saving money for just paying influencers. So have an influencer budget that you're like, set this aside and say, okay, this is how much on this specific product I can give away to an affiliate. But then I'm also gonna set aside this percentage over here that if I wanna actually pay a high influencer to promote this product, I have this cash budget that I can pay someone. So make sure you have both of those in place as you're like building your affiliate program to launch your business. How often do they need to create content? So there's a couple ways to look at this. I'm gonna give you guys an example of like, if you're launching a coaching program, how to build out a six month coaching or a six month affiliate program. But if it's a product, like a Soul CBD, I'm an affiliate for is a good example. We create content for Soul CBD once a month and it's like finding different creative ways and sending them marketing materials so that they have constant contact to be promoting on their social media channels. Then they have their YouTubers that are constantly promoting and dripping in their YouTube channels. So based on your product and your business model, how often would you want your affiliates to be creating content for your business? And what would that look like? Do you want them to create photos that you can use for social media? Do you want them to be creating videos that are specific videos? Do you want them to create an event where they can actually go out and like social does social hour. So we get these influencers to create these pop-up social hour, happy hour, these sexy feminine social influencer nights. So then they bring 10 of their friends together and they get a photographer and they take all these like influencer photos and it like makes the, the brand grow so fast. So what does that look like for your product or service? If you have an event, maybe you do little events. Maybe you're like, okay, our event is one year from now. So every month we're going to have a different groups of affiliates create private little events. And we're just going to go speak at that to promote the bigger event. There's so many ways that you can get really creative. And then how are you going to track it? What systems are going to be in place at a certain point, depending how big your, your business is or how big you want to grow it, you're going to want to put maybe like you'll, you can start it, but over time, maybe put someone that's running your affiliate program into place so that they can constantly be, constantly be communicating with your affiliates every single month. Um, so I like launched Katie Lux's affiliate, but then they put someone into place to run it every day. So she's like every month is like sending out different content strategies to those affiliates to keep them inspired. How to part one is like how of how to find and recruit the right affiliates. So if you're sitting here and you're like, oh my gosh, I don't even know where to start. Um, maybe you have that coaching program and you're like, okay, where do I start? The hot market is your lowest hanging fruit. I would first circle back to anybody that you've coached in the past. People that you know that are like champions of your work or champions of your product. And they're like, I believe in your business. So like second act, for example, like they have thousands of women now that believe in this business model. So those are the people that are going to be so loyal and be like, I want to go tell everybody 
and they're going to earn commission on that. So once you put that the compensation structure in place, they're like, wait, man, I would have referred you before, but now I know I can make money from this. I'm going to go refer you to 10 times more people. That's going to be your hot market that you could literally call tomorrow and just tell them what's up. Warm market is you know them, but you don't necessarily, you're not as close with them. Um, you engage with them on social media, or if you met them at networking events, they're good acquaintances, or you see them promoting other products or services or offers online that you're like, man, that person is really good at promoting. That person is a really good connector that they have a great network, or that person is that ideal client that I want to attract to my business. I just want to reach out to them and be like, listen, you really inspire me. I love what you do. I've seen you promote other brands or products or services, and I would love to build a relationship with you and see if you would be a good fit for our affiliate program that we're doing, or I would see if you'd be a good fit for this event. And we would want to compensate you for this in return. Is that something you'd be interested in? Cold market is straight up like you do not know them, but maybe on social media, you're using specific hashtags to find your ideal client on the internet. Maybe they live here, maybe they don't, maybe you've never talked to them, um, but you're gonna do a cold reach out and just start the relationship. Um, a lot of brands, you probably get it on your own phone too, but like a lot of people just might reach out and be like, listen, I think you'd be a really good fit for our company or our brand or our product would you be open to learning more about what we have in place? Or would you be open to learning more about our affiliate program? Or would you be open to building a relationship with us? Something like that, that just starts that relationship process to build that trust and loyalty. This is also too, like, say you have a coaching program, you could be like, you know, my coaching program is, my mastermind's 5,000, but I would love to give you a coaching call for 199 so that you can kind of get a glimpse of this. And then I'm going to pay you 850 for any referrals after that. If you get the, if you love the value that you get from this, like get really creative being like, here's what I want them to sell. What am I willing to give them now just to start to build that relationship with them? And then always look at it as like relationship collateral. Lupe and Barbara are phenomenal at this, like the connectors of all connectors. Relationship collateral is like constantly like building your network. We always talk about like in marketing, we talk about power hours. Every day you should block out an hour and be reaching out to like new people, following up with old like prospects, um, constantly be adding to the list of networks of potential clients if you have a specific business. That's for anything. I don't care if you're doing hair, you're selling a product, you're doing a coaching business, you're in network marketing, you should always be blocking out time every day to grow your network that could be potential customers for your business. Relationship collateral is like also blocking out time for just referrals of like, how can you add value to other people's businesses? So be like, okay, three people every day. I want to connect so-and-so to so-and-so because I, this person could benefit that person's business. So a lot of times I'll just sit here and be like, hey, so-and-so, I wanted to introduce you to my friend so-and-so. I think you'd love her blank. I just, I'll let you two take it from here, but this is why I think you'd be great connections to each other. And you're just constantly referring people. So in turn, people naturally want to refer to you. What will also benefit from this is the bigger your network, the bigger reach you have to be able to read, tap into that for affiliates. So if you have that big network and you've added so much value to those people's business, and now you're ready to be like, hey, I'm launching this product or I'm launching this coaching program or I'm launching this event, would you be open to being an affiliate or would you know anyone that would benefit from this? They're 10 times more likely to help you because you've added so much value to their business over the years. Part two of this is building your list. And this is what I talked about a little bit in the first part, but if you're like, okay, I, I've got to build my email list stronger to be able to promote this to more people, you can do this a couple ways. Create a freemium, like I talked about already, the, the PDF, the download that they, they have to put in their email address to get the download. You could do a fun quiz. Um, you could be like, like there's that entrepreneur archetype. Like what is, you could create your own thing that attracts people to your thing that you're selling. That's a fun quiz that makes it fun. And then they put their email in and then you send them the results, but now they're a part of your email list. You could do collabs. Like if you're like, this is the, my ideal client that I want to attract and I want to find these affiliates here. I want to collaborate with these people and maybe start with by doing a giveaway. Um, free webinar, guest speak on these calls. Like if you're, if you have a coaching program that you're an affiliate for, for example, 
um, or you're giving one away and you're finding affiliates, you could go speak on a bunch of different calls or go on a podcast tour and start dripping in those links there or promoting that you have an affiliate program and this is what you're looking for and all you're going to attract all of these people that want to be a part of it. Okay, so we talked a little bit about micro influencers, um, but the, the point of this part is really like, how can you support them. So when you're talking and reaching out to affiliates and you're like, hey, I would love for you to promote my product or I would love for you to promote my service. Well, you don't want to make it all about you. You also want to build the relationship like we talked about, like that partnership. So always say, how can I support you? So in return, you're helping me and you're giving more brand awareness and exposure to my business. But in turn, how can I help support your business in return? So like Katie Lux is a good example with the Queens. Like we are, we always say like um, in return, we want to give exposure to your business. How can we support you? What do you have going on this month? What do you want us to promote for you? How can we put you in the spotlight? The more you lift your affiliates up and give them exposure to the more value and more loyalty they're going to be to your brand, but the more they're going to want to like refer people to what you're selling in return. Um, that could be through brand awareness, you just promoting them. It could be reaching out and saying, hey, um, what, what do you have going on this month and how can I support you? But that's most important though, is when you're reaching out to them, don't make it just about you and your business. Make it like about them and their business too. And in turn, how is this partnership going to add value to both of you? Okay, so when you want to launch your affiliate program, let's say in six months, you're ready to launch your program. Um, you're like, okay, I want to spend these next few months. I'm going to put this all together. What does that look like? Six months from now, I want you to build everything that we talked about, the freemiums, the email list, the funnels, the systems, the compensation structure, what that's going to look like. Let's say right now, and you want to launch it early 2021. Then I want you to create um, like an event or it could be a virtual event. It could be an in-person event, something that you want to attract all these prospect affiliates to. So to put this in example, say you're launching a mastermind in early 2021 for your coaching program and you want 50 affiliates to be promoting this program and you have 50 spots that are open. So these people are not going to necessarily be in it. They're just going to help promote it because maybe they're past clients or they just are a believer in what you do or they're strong affiliates with coaching programs. You're going to create some type of event and you want to invite all these people to it so that you can cast that vision and you can say, this is why it's going to help people. This is why I believe in this, like get these people on board with your vision. Then two months out, you're going to start to coach them and being like, this is the exact content that I want to you to create for this. This is what I want. I see it like coming together, whether it's you're going to help them create their email drips that they're going to send out to their client list or you're gonna help them create content images that they're gonna use for social media, or you're gonna help them write the commercial that they're gonna announce on their podcast. Whatever that looks like, you're gonna really help them create the content that they're gonna be promoting your business product or service. And then you're gonna launch it. And then every month, you gotta have systems in place to keep that up. So if it's something, if it's a product that's constant, like, a, like that high-end athleisure line or the social sparkling or anything, if it's constant, then you need to be constantly having like ideas in place every month that you're like, Hey guys, here's the vision board for this month. Maybe it's fall and it's specific things cater to fall around your product or your business or your service. You need to have those ideas in place to give people ideas because otherwise affiliates kind of just fall off and they're going to be like, mm, you know, I, I'm out of ideas. I don't have any creativity and they're going to kind of, they won't be consistent. But if you're consistent every month and you're like, hey guys, here's ideas or here's a cute video that I saw on Instagram that I love, that I would love for you to create one like this for us, um, constantly be giving them ideas and motivating them. And then how to coach your affiliates to promote you and keep them motivated and consistent. That event, if you did an event, I like say, let's go back to second act and use the example of an event. If they're launching an event next month, uh, or next year, then maybe they could create mini events for every month for the next few months leading up to that event. And each person they invite that they want to be an affiliate has to bring two friends. Well, right there, like you're just already scaling that influence and building your network so that you can then cast the vision of the bigger event to even more people that you didn't even know before. 
So like say your event's in June, you could be like, okay, hey, every month, I'm gonna invite 10 people who each invite two people, and I'm gonna have 30 people at this event every month until the event. And then whoever from those people want to be an affiliate, then they're gonna be promoting it, your event would be sold out. Does that make sense? Personalize everything, never send mass texts or never send mass texts or mass emails. Make sure that like the more personal you get, the more people wanna work with you. So if it's you reaching out to a brand and you wanna be an affiliate, don't just send a mass email to a bunch of brands. Make sure you custom why they're a good fit for you. And the same thing, if you're reaching out to affiliates, potential affiliates to be affiliates for your business, don't send a mass email, be like very specific, even handwritten cards go a long way or sending a package of your product to somebody that they can unwrap and put on social media, like personalize it. Um, give them ideas like we talked about, making sure that you're creating vision boards, create Pinterest boards, create example content. Don't just sign an affiliate up and be like, okay, good luck. Um, make sure that you're creating those vision boards and having that in place so they know and have the like examples of the type of content that they should be creating to promote your business. Put them in the spotlight. We do like a social babe of the month and put them on the blog. Um, put your affiliates, like your top, celebrate your top income earners. Um, positive reinforcement, constantly just reach out to them and just be like, I love what you did here or keep them motivated. The more that you're in touch with that and you're celebrating what they're doing or you're celebrating the top recruiters or the top affiliates, the more that they're going to want to like refer more people to you. Send product monthly to them. Videos always do best. And you could also create a Facebook group just for your affiliates to constantly just be building that community of them. If you look at like fashion bloggers, for example, there is the one of the biggest and strongest communities because these brands these affiliates have come together and now they're like promoting all these these different brands and businesses together so the more that you can create this partnership between affiliates they're all going to stay and they want to promote your business and your brand even more a couple links so if you're like oh my gosh how do i even track this how do i create custom affiliate links um Caro is a great one. So Caro will link directly into your website. So when somebody goes on your website, they can just click and it'll follow them and it's all done for them. They get their affiliate link. They get, it'll show how many people clicked on it. It'll show how many people ordered or purchased from that link. It helps you do payouts. Same with GoAF Pro so that everything is super trackable and you have this like clear, easy system in place so that it just feels super easy and it doesn't feel like all this extra work. And then you decide how you wanna pay, be paid out or, or I mean, how you wanna pay out people. So if you're like, okay, I'm gonna pay out the last day of the month and I'm gonna do it through PayPal, then you just have all the totals right there and you can pay it out. Okay, so I'm gonna open this up to you guys um, and see what questions do you have. This was extremely helpful. And what I'm gonna do um, is we want to keep you all on for question and answer. We want to thank you, Laren, for today. I'm going to, um, we're going to come to an end with the recording and, uh, and keep everybody on though so that we can continue the conversation. So thank you for all the info.